film a Trader Joe's haul for you today. Um, I got some good stuff. They came out with the fall, like, <clears throat> I got like some cool like waffle mixes and the sauces for fall. So I love when Trader Joe's comes out with all that kind of stuff. It's like my favorite time of year to go. It's like Christmas time or fall time. So, um, I got things for dinner too. I think we should just get into it though. So got my haul here behind me. I figured I'd just pull stuff out and show you guys what I got today. And if you're uh, looking to go to Trader Joe's soon, then you know what to get. Um, don't mind my appearance. I just got done with yoga. So, you know, a little gym after gym time self. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I'm gonna start off with girl how to get herself some flowers. So I'm gonna arrange these in a vase somehow. I just love the colors, the pink and the blue and the white. So they're gonna look beautiful together. So that's the first thing I got. Some eggs. I got a yellow onion. I got three Honeycrisp apples because I am like eight and a half months pregnant and really craving apples and peanut butter lately. So that's my jam. That's like my snack, my go-to snack right now. I love it. So here's one of the pumpkin things I got. It's pumpkin um, pancake and waffle mix, which I love waffles. So trying that this weekend for sure. We are gonna be camping, but we're taking our trailer. So I can still make waffles. I got refried. I did not realize these were refried. Refried black beans. I guess that's what we're going to have in our tacos. I thought they were just black beans. And uh, they have jalapenos in there. So that actually sounds really good. Tacos is one of our meals that we're making. We're going to do like salmon one night. And um, like a cauliflower ganache pasta that I made. So I got this tomato basil pasta just to have in the cabinet. Because it's really nice. Just to have them on hand for quick meals. And we don't know what we're going to make for dinner. I got one of these, actually I got two of these. This is my favorite pasta sauce and they only have it this time of year at fall. So I got two, I will be back for more to stock up before they're out for sure. Two of those, there's the other one. Um, and I got the double roasted salsa. It's a Trader Joe's brand. This looks really good. I love roasted salsa. And it was only $2.49. You can't beat that. <clears throat> and of course, tortillas. These are the corn and wheat. They're my favorite. They're so good. So those will go with our tacos. Got some cilantro. Got a blended cheese for the pasta and asparagus, blueberries, uh, this pesto, so that's gonna go with the cauliflower ganache pasta. It's like a pesto pasta, it's really good. Got some Alaskan sockeye salmon. My husband and I had this last week and it was amazing. My husband is a huge salmon fan. I'm just like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but he loves it. And he was like, that's amazing salmon. It's so good. So if you're a salmon fan, make sure to try this at Trader Joe's. It's delicious. Then I got some of the sweet Italian pork sausage. I like to squeeze the sausage out of the tube and ground it up for the pasta that we're going to make. Um, I just, I like it better that way. I'm not a huge fan of having like the, the, um, sh the casing. I think that's what it's called. The casing on the sausage. So I'll squeeze the sausage out of there. And then we got some uncured dry rubbed bacon. Delicious. Love that stuff. And then I got the, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say this wrong. Uh, Po pollo asado chicken. <laughs> I'm sure. Correct me in the comments. If I said that wrong, I'm sure I did. 
Uh, this stuff's awesome. So it's already pre-marinated chicken and it's like thinly sliced. So you can just throw it on the barbecue real quick. I threw it in the crock pot last time and it was awesome. Cooked up really well that way. But I think the next time we make this, I'm gonna throw it on the barbecue. Just to get a little different option. But it's the, you don't need to put anything else on there. Like the marinade on it is already delicious. Got some butter. Because we were out, we just needed that. I'm excited to try this. So it's mashed cauliflower. I think I'm gonna make that with a salmon. Look good. And I think you just like put it on the stove top and heat it up. So looks awesome. And it's like in chunks in there. So we'll see how that cooks up. I haven't tried that before. This is the cauliflower ganache. Um, it's delicious. So it's, you can see the serving too. It'll make 2.5 servings. It's 140 calories per serving. Um, let's see like the, all the nutritional facts here. It's not terrible. I mean, there's a lot of sodium, but <laughs> most things these days do have a lot of sodium, but we love that. We swear by it. It tells you to put it in a pan and like steam it. We don't do that. We put a little oil in the pan and they like kind of crisp each side of the ganache because if you if you don't do that, it kind of gets a little sticky. So little tip there, if you get that, grill it in a pan. Don't steam it. And then the next thing, this is like a go-to for me, I'm pretty sure now. Vegetable fried rice, I love fried rice. Kung Pao chicken. Um, again, this is just like a quick, easy meal. I'm just have in the freezer for when we don't know what to make. It's just kind of nice to have those things. And we'll probably have a freezer full of stuff like that here soon when this baby comes, cause it's our first and we're going to be getting used to being new parents. <laughs> um, and then we just got some 2%, yeah, 2% milk and a jug of water. And that's it for our Trader Joe's grocery haul. I cannot wait to try the um, pumpkin pancakes. These are gonna be amazing. Um, again, and then I got that pumpkin, uh, well, it's not pumpkin. It's pasta sauce made with pumpkin and butternut squash. That is like my go-to all-time favorite for fall. So that's a must-have this time of year. I just did like a quick, um, today's Wednesday when I'm filming this and we're gonna be going out of town this weekend. So I didn't wanna to get too much stuff for the week. My go-tos for my Trader Joe's haul pretty much was what I got today. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see future videos like it. Thanks for watching my video today and I hope to see you soon. I wanted to show you guys what I spent at Trader Joe's too. I spent $117.58, so not bad for a Trader Joe's haul and everything I got. So I can make lots of meals with all this.